Good evening, it is Friday the 18th of December 2020. Um, it's an absolutely filthy day in Cardiff. It is raining like you wouldn't believe um, and has been for some hours and promises to do so for some hours yet to come. So um, normally I'd like to be sat at the back with a fire, with my chimney. Sadly that ain't happening tonight, might get it in tomorrow. Um, but I have a beer to describe and discuss and see if it's any good. Um, a couple of weeks ago I got a variety box of beers from Flavorly. Um, this is the last one of them, I've drunk every other one. This is called Freedom Ale. It's a pale ale. It is 4.2%. Um, brewing since 1995. Freedombrewery.com um, So ingredients are spring water, malted barley, malted rye, yeast and hops. Um, the hops are Admiral, Citra and Cascade. Um, and the Freedom Brewery in Staffordshire, not a million miles away from um, where I am. It says, this is the ale you want to be flirting with. A confident pale ale with a tropical fruit aroma. Uh, combined with just the right balance of bitterness makes this a perfect go-to session pale ale. I'll be the judge of that. Um, in fairness to the um, Flavorly box that I got a few weeks ago, pretty much everything I had from it was decent or very good. And in some cases, absolutely excellent in, in the sense of a Loch Lomond beer that came with it. But Loch Lomond are always good. Um, the Freedom ones, I have had this before. Um, I enjoyed it. But it'll be interesting to see what I think when it's first of the week. So you'll be able to, you won't be able to see the can. Let's see if I can rig it up so we can in some way. Hmm. Nah, not worth it. Um, that's the beer. As you can see it's quite clear. Gentle carbonation. It's a little, little bit bubbly. It's got a nice little um, sort of half a finger head on it. Get an aroma. It is quite citrusy. It is a bit um, more like the orange end of citrusy. Not like lemon or lime or anything like that. It's not like a sharp. It's quite a sweet citrusy smell. I'm going in. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it's okay. It's um, it does have that kind of um, again to keep coming back to the word and repeating myself, citrusy kind of taste to it. But it it's a sharper citrus taste than it smells. It smells of orange. It kind of tastes more lemony. It does take it taste quite lemony indeed, particularly. The aftertaste, you know, 30 seconds after. It's all right. It is like um, it says, um, a fairly sessionable one. It's not like easy drinking. By any stretch, it's not. It's not going to, you know, it's not one for absolutely throwing down your neck at a rate, rate of knocks. Not, I don't think. Um, it's it's okay. It's around about a six out of ten, maybe above average. It isn't um, 
my favourite by any stretch. There may be um, other people who really like this. <clears throat> like I say, it's not bad. Um, would I drink it again? Yes. Would I buy it? Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Um, but, you know, everyone's taste is different. I don't want to be negative um, because it's not a bad beer at all. Anyway, more to come over the weekend. Thanks for watching.